You're babying yourself. You know that now. It's only gonna make the situation worse. Ah, leave him alone. He's sick. Ray, he is my wolf. I believe I know what's best for him. How would you know what's best for him? You haven't been sick a day in your life. I most certainly have. With what? Various childhood illnesses. Such as? The usual. Could you be a little more specific? Pink eye. Both of them. Swelled up like watermelons. Pink eye. All right, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, my heart's bleeding for you. You know, I hear that pink eye can be fatal. In the north, most definitely. <laughs> You know, first impressions can be misleading, Ray. No, you just have to find the good in everyone, even if you have to manufacture it. Look at this. Ah, somebody has a sweet tooth. Hmm. Did I ever tell you how much I hate it when you go, hmm? Hmm. Underground. Oh, no, no, I am not going underground. I'll be right back. Frazier! Frazier! Oh, why do I always let him do this to me? All right, all right, I'm coming, but remember, this is Chicago. If we crawl into this thing, we may never come out. No! Frazier, where are you? I'm here, Ray, just follow my voice. You see the kids? No. The brooch? No. Exactly, so let's just turn around. Ray. This is a swill pit. You brought me into a swill pit. No, it's not a swill pit, Ray. First of all, swill entails a more pungent odor, and a pit is generally a circular indentation with only one entrance from the top. This, however, fits the definition of a tunnel. A long, straight... Ow! Correction, a long, meandering tunnel. All right, call it what you want. But all I see is dirt and mold and... Oh my god, oh, you're not gonna, uh, don't put that I'm in I'm just smelling it, Ray. Oh, like there isn't enough to smell in here? You have to dredge something up from the sledge? A carrot. A what? It's a carrot. All right, great, it's a carrot, just drop it. Mm, it's fresh, too. You ate it? Ray, calm down. I'm sure there's nothing in here that's any less sanitary than... Ooh, stay away from that, Ray. Out, that's it, out, now, out. You know how many suits of mine you've ruined? 24 perfect for good. Holy cow! Come on, man, let's get out of here! What is it with you? Does dirt not stick to you? What were you, Scotch guarded at birth? Hanky? What you did? I'm sorry. Look what you did. This is genuine sorry. leather. Please, she's a pickpocket. Where is it? You stole something from me and I want it back. Stop right there! I'll take him. Sorry, I'm gonna have to ask you to come with me. Right you have my brooch? Well, uh, no, sir. I see. You brought me down here in the middle of my busy schedule and you don't have my brooch. The police would like you to help identify a suspect who might have stolen it. But they don't have my brooch either. No. I thought I made it clear that you're not here to clean up America. This is their problem. Well, thank you. I appreciate you pointing that out. I'm not interested in retribution. I'm interested in results. Even a rudimentary understanding of dealing with criminals would indicate you have a better chance of locating the whereabouts of my brooch with a suspect free to be followed. Or am I mistaken, Constable? Uh, no, sir, you're quite right. Well then. Get going. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. I'd crawl through a sewer for her any day. 
Sir. Cleaned out her apartment, got every book we could find. Fiction and non-fiction. We're looking for an appointment book with names and numbers of possible suspects. Not a good read, officer. How long have you been out of the academy? It's useless. Got the kid loose. Ray, the man who assaulted her is the same man she stole from. Look, you spend your day picking other people's pockets, you're going to tick somebody off. Well, that's hardly comfort to a 14-year-old now, is it? Well, what do you care so much about this kid for? All right. Please tell me this doesn't involve sub-zero temperatures or Inuit legend. No, it does not. Ah, of course it does. It always does. Ray, all right. Listen, when I was little, my grandparents took me on vacation to a clavic. What, for a little sun and sand? Well, hardly. It's a thriving urban center. Anyway, one day I... I wandered off alone when they were window shopping. There I was, all alone in the big city. The point is, Ray, that I became hungry, very hungry. And I knew no one. I, I had no money. I, I was desperate. So you ate a pole of that? Well, don't be ridiculous, Ray. I boiled my shoes, my, my Oxfords, my left Oxford to be exact. Boy, my grandmother ever tanned my hide for that one. Oh, that's a good one. So what's the point? The point is, Ray, that being young and alone is frightening. Without proper guidance, we will do things that are out of character. Look, they're petty thieves, you know. They uh, rob and assault people for nickels and dimes. Ray, will you at least just let me talk to her for a second? Okay, okay. But you promise to leave me alone? I promise. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Yes. Excuse me. I had to talk to you. The man who accosted you. Who is this guy? Ben Fraser, Royal Canadian Mount of Police. He was the same man who chased you last night, was he not? Excuse me, are you here in some official capacity? My superior officer has lost something. A brooch. We don't have to listen to him, right? Your sister has been accosted twice by the same man in the last 24 hours. She's fine. Not if we hadn't been there. Look, I'm telling you, I can take care of her. I think you probably can under normal like circumstances. Like I said, uh, do we have to talk to him? No, you don't. Bye. Hey, excuse me. You forgot your sugar cubes. Thanks. Sid? What? What? Nothing. This what you stole from that guy? Yeah, I guess so. 